Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. So guys, it's been a long time since we meet and today I am here with very interesting topic which is Plotly Studio. So guys, Plotly Studio was recently launched and I got the access of this particular application four days back. And yes, the first day I got the access of this particular application. So thanks to the Plotly team. And now let's discuss what we can do with the help of Plotly. So guys, you can see here, this is the particular email which I received. So today is the day welcome to the future of data apps and generated at the speed of thoughts. So this is the most beautiful data app we can build with the help of Plotly Studio. So guys, this is the early access, which means you are getting the first look of something we are proud of, but is still improving. So you are a co-creator of this experience and your feedback directly influences what we prioritize and building the next. So guys, here, this is the installation for Mac OS and the Windows. And here the getting started uh, with first Plotly Studio app, okay? So here you can see here the beautiful things about the Plotly Studio. So if you can drag and drop a file, you are already 80% there. Okay. So I will tell you how you can set up the Plotly. Okay. And how you can generate a dashboard in just few of clicks. So here these are the basic steps to create a data visualization app with the help of Plotly Studio. All right. So now first of all, let me open the Plotly Studio. So guys, this is the particular setup I got. So here I am going to install this particular package in my system. All right. So guys, first of all, let me tell you what is the capabilities of Plotly Studio. So here you can see we can upload the data. So simple, we can drag and drop the file here or we can upload the file. So if you have some context and goal here uh, related to the data or based on your need or based on your business objective so you can define your context and goal and based on that it will be generated the outline okay so very straightforward and here this is the projects so right now i don't have any projects now you can see my name and this particular account and all so first of all i need to drag and drop the data here okay so i am going to click on this particular button and on the desktop i am going to import the superstore database okay so i hope you guys are aware what kind of data we have in the Superstore. So once I click on open, right? So first of all, it is telling me the size of the data, how many columns and how many rows we have. All right. So once you click on next. So as I just mentioned, if you want to write some context and goal, so you can read here, Plotly Studio will process your data and drive interesting chart, right? No matter what. But if you have some specific aim or some set of questions, so you would like to answer so you can supply here, right? As of now, I don't have any context. So I am going to click on skip. So guys, now final step is outline. So whatever the context and the data you have provided based on that, it will be generated the outline. Okay. So we have just provided the data, but we have not provided any particular context and goal. Okay. But that's fine. Now let me click on generate outline. So now you can see here the process has been begin and it is calculating the time and all. So it will be write the title and description, what kind of charts and what kind of process they are following. Okay. Including the theme as well. So it, it is generating at the back end. All right. So we need to wait for a couple of minutes and it will be generated the very interactive or very useful outline for the user. So now the outline has been done. So you can see this is the sales performance analytics. So comprehensive analysis of sales data across different region, customer segment and product category to identify trends, performance patterns and business opportunities. So these are the chart is suggested by the Plotly. So guys, if you are thinking you want to add any specific chart, so simple, you can click here and you can add the chart and here you can write whatever you want. Okay. Although this activity you can done later as well. And these are the global filter. Let's say we are choosing order date as a date range picker. We are using, you know, some drop down just like in Power BI and Tableau you have seen, right? We have some drop down based on that entire dashboard is refreshing. So we have West, East, Central and South. And we have some drop down, multi drop down, I would say, based on the customer segment and some product category with multiple drop down so you can see there are a lot of things right and if you think you want to add some specific filter as well so you can add those filter as well 
and here we have some theme as well okay you can see now simple you need to click on generate application then you will see the real magic so guys at the back end what is happening plotly is writing thousand of line of code okay in order to build this particular dashboard or you can say that data apps okay so here you can see the setup we have data layout and theme and as i just mentioned we have some components like filter components data cards and some data tables okay and these are the chart let's say sales trend line chart profit by category sales profit scatter plot regional sales discount profit box and some customer segment using pie chart okay so as i just mentioned if you want to add some specific charts so those chart you can add here as well all right so let's wait for a couple of minutes then you will see how this particular plotly studio develop a dashboard based on the sample superstore data set so guys here we go so now you can see sales performance analytics okay this is the component and data card and data table as i just mentioned so here so this is the particular date and created by the plotly ai studio and the data source is sales performance analytics data and guys here i just mentioned we have a order date so you can pick some specific date okay so guys here we have all reason so if you want to select any specific reason so you can select similarly for customer segment we have product categories right you can see we have again ship mode and this is the sales amount range similarly profit range some discount level and we have all the state right so we have total 5000 of rows this is the average sales this is the total profit average discount 15.5 and we have 778 unique customer all right and similarly this is the particular chart for all reason let's say if you want to go with daily right so you can see how it is fast weekly right and monthly and similarly you can go with the quarter and if you want to you know select some specific period so you can select the specific period as well let's say for an example i am choosing from september like this okay so it is changing all right so maybe let me select from the so you can see right so it is changing interesting similarly let's say profit by the product category so we have sort by the profit or maybe you want to sort by the sales or maybe you want to show that information in the percentage and all right so we can see here and this is the description based on your chart right similarly we have a sales versus profit relationship okay so right now we are not selecting any particular segment so you can go with the consumer okay and this is the particular range of the quantity and similarly for corporate and home office and guys this is the sales right if you want to you know show per capita values this is very interesting maybe you can go with the profit or maybe you can go with the quantity and all right and similarly we have a discount impact on profit margins okay against the category and all subcategories you can see right and similarly we have customer segment performance okay we are showing that information based on the segments and here we have a sales profit and so on and so forth and this is the entire data set for an example let's say if you want to select any specific uh, data set let's say if i want to go with the consumer so simple i can go with the consumer right so i got this number of rows interesting so here if you want to you know click on any particular chart let's say if i am going to click on sales trend line chart okay so here this is the whole chart right and here this is the particular specification let's say how they have you know processed this particular chart and all and this is the particular code in order to build that particular chart interesting and here we have a chart outline so if you want to change anything again it will be generate the chart based on the input or you can say that based on the chart outline right similarly for this yeah but in some cases you want to add some specific chart right so simple you can click here let's say generate tree map based on reason category segment and sales simple so once i click on or maybe 
or maybe you can see you know some examples as well but that's fine now let me click on add chart so here we go so it will take again couple of second okay in order to generate this particular chart right and meanwhile it is generating the chart so guys you can see this is the particular theme section sometime we are generating the dashboard or maybe the data apps in dark theme or maybe you can choose the theme based on your uh, need or based on your interest right and here you can see we got a generate tree map based on the reason and category segment and sales here we go right so once i click on the west and look at this it is showing me the sales and the percentage similarly if i want to go with the technology here we go if i want to go back and again we want to go back so here we go okay and this is the interactive tree map visualization right this is the basic information about the chart and guys these are the specification let's say we are creating a tree map chart and these are the controls we are adding and how we are processing the data and this is the chart structure and some layout and all right you can see interesting and this is the code of the tree map chart right so you can see if you are aware about the plotly and the pandas and numpy and all so they are importing the library right and they are generating tree map based on this is the component id tree map chart right so simple interesting and now once i go on the app summary so you can see here so guys really this is very stunning right so once you click on the preview in browser so here we go so you can have the preview in your browser as well all right so guys once is done you can share this particular dashboard or data apps on this publish button on the plotly cloud and if you have own server where as well you can you know publish this particular dashboard all right so guys i believe this is very amazing to explore the plotly studio and you can think about the future let's say what will happen this particular application will be scalable you know over a period of the time and if you want to explore this particular application what you can do you can go to the plotly studio so simple this is the official web page okay so here this is introducing plotly studio so if you want to have the early access so simple here you can sign up and here you can fill your basic details and you can get the early access okay so once you got the early access you can try based on your data set you can you know play with the chart and with the theme okay and you you know you can share your feedback in the comment box right so how you are feeling about the plotly studio so guys i believe this particular application will launch soon so everybody can access it right and let me know your thought about the bi tools which are available in the market and feel free to share your opinions about the plotly studio all right guys and for now thanks for watching and have a great day